Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create head animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful head animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, there is a silhouette of a head and then on a click, the head opens and then the ideas are put inside and then the ideas get ingrained. So that is the beautiful effect you are going to learn to create today because these kind of effects are quite common in motion graphics, especially when you want to talk about instilling new ideas in people's minds. Let us see how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and there are two things that we require to create this effect. The first one is the silhouette of a head and the second one is a picture of a bulb. Now let us see how to create the head opening effect. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, then go to auto shapes menu, pick up the rectangle from the rectangles option here. And I'm going to use the rectangle to crop the top portion of this uh, head silhouette. Now I'm going to right click, go to format shape and add a bit of transparency so that I can clearly see the portion that I am uh, removing. As you can see, if I were to open it like this, then it will not really look very realistic. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to do a bit of rotation so that when I cut this portion off, it looks a little more interesting. So we have got the rectangle and we have got the silhouette. I'm going to select both of them while holding the shift button. Then let us go to the format tab under drawing tools here. Then go to merge shapes and choose the option called fragment. And that will divide the picture into individual pieces. Now I'm going to select this one, which doesn't really serve much. So this is just a bounding box. I'm going to delete it. And here you have the portion which shows the top part of the head silhouette. And here is the bottom part of the head silhouette. Now we are going to make this open up. Now, when I rotate this particular portion here, you can see that the rotation happens like this. And that is because the axis of rotation for this particular piece is here. And that is the reason why it is rotating around that particular axis of rotation, which is not the way that we want. So we need to find a way for this head to open up with this as the axis of rotation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this part. Then let us go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, pick up the rectangle tool under rectangles, and I'm going to draw a rectangle exactly the same size as the bounding box that you saw here. And this is the size of the earlier one. You can see that I already have the size for this one and I've made sure that this matches it. And then I'm going to place this here where the previous one ends. If you were to see, this is where the previous uh, shape is and now I have kept the copy here so that the top right corner touches this particular corner here. Now I'm going to select this and this together and I'm going to press Ctrl G. Now I don't really want this to have any color or outline so I'm going to select this, go to shape fill and say no fill and go to shape outline and say no outline. So now what we've got is a very beautiful trick that allows us to open the head like this as you can see here it is hinging on this particular point here and since the rectangle that we have used doesn't have any outline or fill color you can see that the effect works like magic the next thing is to apply custom animation to open up this head then let us go to the animations tab go to the animation pane let me close the previous one and i'm going to apply spin animation so let us go here go to spin animation and you can see that the default direction is clockwise. So let us go to effect options and say counterclockwise. And then let us go to the small arrow here right next to the animation event, go to effect options and let us change the angle. So instead of 360 degrees rotation counterclockwise, we are going to say maybe 45 degrees and I'm going to say uh, enter and I'm going to say okay. So that opens up the head only till this extent and when that happens we are going to reduce the duration of course maybe to around 0.5 seconds we want the bulbs to enter the head a bulb is a metaphorical representation of an idea so i'm going to make a couple of copies of this bulb here i'm going to press ctrl d 
twice so now we have three bulbs here and just to add some visual interest I'm going to make this bulb tilt a little and I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well I'm going to place this uh, pretty close to each other I'm going to take all of them and I'm going to right click and bring to front and I'm going to move them here and now I'm going to have them enter from the top with fly-in animation so I'm going to select this one then hold the shift button down as I select this one and then this one then let us go to fly-in animation and it needs to fly in from the top and we are going to have each of them happen one after another so let us say after previous for all the flying animation I'm also going to add a little bit of bounce effect so I've uh, clicked on the small arrow here right next to the animation events and I'm going to apply a bit of a bounce end so the effect looks a little more interesting and you can see here that is how it drops now once that is done we are going to have the top portion of the head close back so I'm going to apply another animation so let us go to add animation and spin animation and this time we are going to have clockwise movement because it is already in the open position it needs to be moving clockwise so we are going to go here go to effect options and we are going to retain the clockwise movement but the movement is going to be only for 45 degrees and I'm going to say OK and we are going to have this for just 0.5 seconds like the way that we had the earlier one and this has to happen after previous and then finally these bulbs need to uh, fade away so that they signify that the ideas have been ingested uh, in the mind of this uh, person so let us go to add animation and say fade away and this happens after previous and that's it so we have got quite a few animation events and let me give you a quick overview of these various events first we have the spin animation that opens up the head then we have three fly in animations these bulbs are going to fly in from the top almost indicating that the ideas are being instilled in the mind and after they are in the head closes back and then the bulbs fade away now let us see how the animation works let us go to slideshow mode head opens ideas get inside head closes and uh, the bulbs fade away so that is how you create this beautiful head animation effect now talking about head and the ideas I want to share with you a couple of interesting templates from one of our products called advanced animations templates pack the pack has more than 750 ready to use advanced custom animation templates the product details are available in presentationprocess.com under this particular heading called download PowerPoint templates and then choose advanced animation templates pack and you will get to preview the templates and you would be able to see how the various templates work. These are just a few samples. Let me show you a few interesting templates that uh, are on the same idea of ideation. Uh, this is the template about teamwork as you can see here the three team members are first introduced you can give details about them and then the idea that comes from all three are shown here which talks about the combined idea talking about combined thinking here is one of the team members another one is shown here and the combined thinking is represented by this beautiful animation now if I want to extend the idea further I can go in for collective opinion of different team members you can see that there are different team members here and each one contributes to different ideas and each of the thought, thought clouds is shown in different colors and then on a click you will have all the thoughts merging together to come up with a collective opinion and here we talk about five ideas from thinking process here you have the silhouette of a head and then there is thinking that is represented by way of these spinning gears and then the various ideas are coming out of the head and then each idea is then uh, elaborated with a click so this gives you a very interesting way to present five different ideas so those are some of the simple ideas that I wanted to share with you on how you can use a head silhouette to communicate the idea of ideation. Hope that helped. Hey, did you like the video? If yes, please click on the red subscribe button that you see down below the video to the left here. You see, having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom. You automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing. You know what? You don't need to be a PowerPoint ninja to create great looking slides like this. 
You just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business lights. In Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, I teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative PowerPoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method. Once you know the techniques, you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this. So please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever. And to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides, I invite you to join our free mini training. The training is called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas Course. It is an email training that gives you easy ideas you can implement in your next business presentation. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please click on the button here and I'll see you inside the course.